Hello friends, welcome to this video session. The topic that we are going to cover in this session is properties of acids and bases. Children, you are already aware of the fact the sour and bitter tastes of food are due to acids and bases respectively present in them. Let us now begin with our topic starting with a few daily life examples of acid and bases. If someone in the family is suffering from a problem of acidity after overeating, which of the following would you suggest as a remedy? Lemon juice, vinegar or baking soda solution? Which property did you think of while choosing the remedy? Surely you must have used your knowledge about the ability of acids and bases to nullify each other's effect, right? And so, when someone is suffering from acidity, the remedy that you can give is baking soda solution, as this will neutralize the excess acid and result in immediate relief. Let us now talk about what are indicators. Indicators, as the name suggests, indicates about the nature of the substance. That is, whether it is acidic or basic in nature. Let us talk about the first natural indicator, which is litmus. Litmus solution is a purple dye, which is extracted from lichen, a plant belonging to the division Thalophyta and is commonly used as an indicator. When the litmus solution is neither acidic nor basic, its color is purple. It is now available in two forms, which are red and blue litmus. Acids which are sour in taste turn blue litmus to red color and there is no change in color in case of red litmus. Similarly, bases which are bitter in taste change red litmus to blue color and there is no change in the color of blue litmus paper. Turmeric is another such indicator. Have you noticed that a stain of curry on a white cloth becomes reddish brown when soap, which is basic in nature, is scrubbed on it? It turns yellow again when the cloth is washed with plenty of water. Why? Because then the basic soap gets removed with water. So, students, turmeric is a natural indicator. It contains natural yellow dye. It turns red in basic solutions. The red cabbage obtained from red cabbage leaves is also a natural indicator. And that is red in color. It remains red in acidic solutions and turns green on adding basic solutions. The colored petals of some flowers like hydrangea, petunia and geranium also change color in the presence of acids and bases and act as an indicator. For example, the flowers of hydrangea plant are blue in color and they turn pink in the presence of basic solutions. You can also use synthetic indicators. Synthetic indicator means the indicators which are derived chemically such as methyl orange and phenolphthalein to test for acids and bases. The color of methyl orange indicator in natural solution is orange. It gives red color in acidic solution and gives a yellow color in basic solution. The color of phenolphthalein in natural solution is colorless. It remains colorless in acidic solution and gives a pink color in a basic solution. Let us conduct an activity and see 
how different substances change color with different indicators. Collect the following solutions from the science laboratory. Hydrochloric acid, HCl. Sulfuric acid, H2SO4. Nitric acid, HNO3. Acetic acid, CH3COOH. Sodium hydroxide, NaOH. Calcium hydroxide, CaOH2. Potassium hydroxide, KOH. Magnesium hydroxide, MgOH2. And ammonium hydroxide. NH4OH. Put a drop of each of the above solutions on a watch glass one by one and test with a drop of the indicators shown in the table. What change in color did you observe with red litmus, blue litmus, phenolphthalein and methyl orange solutions for each of the solutions taken? Tabulate your observations in a table. These indicators tell us whether a substance is acidic or basic by change in color as shown in the table. There is one more type of indicator which is olfactory indicator. The term olfactory means relating to the sense of smell. Those substances whose smell changes in acidic and basic medium are called as olfactory indicators. For example, onion and vanilla extract. Onion has a characteristic smell. If a basic solution like sodium hydroxide is to be added to the onion, the onion smell cannot be detected. However, an acidic solution does not destroy the smell of onion. Vanilla extract has a characteristic pleasant smell. If a basic solution like sodium hydroxide is added to vanilla extract, we cannot detect the smell of vanilla extract. However, acid cannot destroy the smell of vanilla extract. Friends, in this video, we studied the properties of acids and bases. In the next video, we will learn about reactions of acids and bases.